Hey, hi. How are all you beautiful people doing today? My friends, this has become almost a standard to roast a Goku family at the beginning of each of my videos. All the people who wank off to Goku are complete idiots. Look at what this kid said. What truth? Laugh my fucking ass off. And no, anime isn't beating Goku at his strongest. He's Sung Wukong, a Chinese mythological god who has a Nirvana state. They could reach his level, but not surpass him. Oh, also, hold up, this fucking third string said Goku is Sung Wukong in Chinese mythology, and since you believe he is Sung Wukong, he is now untouchable? Is that what I'm getting at? Alright man, Othin is still solos with ease, not even a fucking contest. Look, let me debunk this shit real fucking quick. Let me show you why what this fucking reject says is complete fucking nonsense. Goku is Sung Wukong now, huh? Okay then, sure, let's go with that. That's where you want to scale him? Alright then, let me fucking educate your dumb ass. Othin is destroyed and manipulated all dimensions. These dimensions are also called phases. Also, I don't want to remind you that she destroyed infinite dimensions because of what we know as something called Schrodinger's theory, which I explained in my video where Othin is fucking souls the whole entire Dragon Ball UNIVERSE! I won't show the scans proving my point on why Othin is destroyed all fucking phases and reality, so go to the other video where Othin is fucking shits all over Xeno Goku where I give a more detailed explanation. Now listen here you ugly fucks in each phase there contains legends mythologies and religions guess what motherfuckers sung wukong is in a phase sung wukong is a myth that resides in a fucking phase Othinus can destroy and manipulate all of those phases of what which that mythology resides in do you know what that fucking means that means by default Othinus scales higher than fucking goku shout out to my boy level zero one up and egg and of course right hand laugh for all these beautiful fucking scales of my fucking girl Othinus. I just proved why Othinus scales higher than your fucking monkey loving bitch Midku. Let me be very clear about this guys. Uiharu souls the whole entire Dragon Ball universe with ease. Just look at this shit. She redefined the fucking world. Thanks dear bond. Love this fucking scan. Secondly my girl Itsuki is beyond boundless. She's so fucking powerful she can think people out of existence. Just like Goku can. Remember guys in the last video where this one idiot thought Goku could think people out of existence existence yeah now that he said this anyone can think people out of existence we don't even need proof we can just say oh don't worry i didn't forget about what i said in my last video let's take a look at this fucking guy's youtube channel to see if you upload a video that regards to him scaling this fucking stupid ass monkey let's see if there's a video here that says that goku can think people out of existence oh my would you look at that there's nothing fucking here I would have never guessed that there would be no upload providing evidential proof that Goku can erase people from fucking existence. Fucking brain dead Goku fanboys. Since I already debunked Cosmic Scaler and made fun of this fucking other human reject who didn't upload a video saying Goku could think people out of existence, we can move on. Guys, don't worry, I have one more comment that I want to show you guys. Look at what this fucking dumb, mentally deficient imbecile said. He said, What a stupid analysis! Goku can simply use telekinesis and shred accelerators limbs from body detach his head from his neck without even touching him he's just feeble flesh and bones and goku can use air punches to instantly send this idiot to the next dimension no contest here <laughs> serious guys this is exactly me right here every single time i read a stupid fucking comment a goku fanboy makes that they cannot back up uh, you wanna go you punk ass bitch so we can erase people with his mind and use telekinesis now what else do you fucking goku rejects gonna say he can use now every time i talk about a goku fanboy it makes me feel like i'm talking to a fucking brick wall it's a one-sided conversation that goes absolutely nowhere you wanna know what i'm fucking talking about this is exactly what i'm fucking talking about it'll be something like this Hey, uh, here are all the scans that prove that Othin is scales higher than Goku. Oh, okay, but, uh, but, but, uh, but, 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 but can she be Goku, though? Uh, the, these scans you showed? Yeah, 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 they, uh, they, 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 they don't prove anything. Bro, stop fucking stuttering. All the scans I showed prove my fucking point. I backed up my stance with these logical and facts that prove what I said to be accurate. Can you show me fucking scans on how Goku beats Othinus and how Goku scales higher than Othinus? Oh, I, 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 I don't, I don't need to show scans for Zero Goku. Uh, he, he's too powerful. He, he, uh, he, he, he can think about 
long distance, man. Yes, Othinus can beat Goku, as I said, and I showed you scales. Now tell me why Goku wins. Show me some fucking proof to support your claim. Uh, but, but, uh, you know, uh, 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 uh Sun so Wukong, Sun so Wukong, I win. Uh, Nirvana State, uh, I, I don't need scans. Goku Solos, Goku's boundless. I don't need to show you anything. Fuck you. You're a fucking imbecile, you fucking deficient human life. All Goku fans are complete fucking morons. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the one video where we make fun of all these low intelligent rejects. Hey, also, I want to give a huge shout out to my fucking boy 1UP. This picture is just for you, buddy. I'm just kidding, buddy. I know you like Artoria. Once again, guys, here we are with another video where we get to talk about another Tawaru character. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure by now you guys have realized that we live and breathe Tawaru. If you guys couldn't tell, we're going to be talking about Toma Kami Joe. Wow, shocker, right? Now, look, I know we could scale Toma and Emmy up, but that would be super fucking boring. We're not talking about omnipotent, omnipresent, multiversal, high complex fucking bullshit. So we will not need to fucking scale like that. I've been getting asked so fucking much to do fucking feathering and Ajimu fucking verse battle video. If you guys really want to see a feathering and Ajimu verse battle video, get this video to 200 likes in the first two days of this video being uploaded and I will make that video. I've made plenty of videos on Toma Kanojo before. I really don't need to explain much about him, but I'll quickly go over some of his abilities because, I mean, let's be real. I know there are some new people here. As we all know, Tomo's ability is called Imagine Breaker. But while I can go on and show many clips of him fucking destroying shit with his Imagine Breaker, I just want to show you that he destroyed fucking Gungnir with his hand. The lance that Othin has had. By the way, for you nerds that forgot, Gungnir can destroy all universes and reality. Yeah, that's what Imagine Breaker can fucking destroy. When Tomo's arm is removed from his fucking body, there are many different things that can fucking happen. We all know that a dragon can come out of Tomo's right arm. And let's be real, this was the fucking best part about Railgun T. I fucking love this shit. It was fucking amazing. There's also the time in NT22 when fucking Toma got his right and severed him some shit and something called fish eggs came out of his fucking right side of his arm. I'll talk a little bit more about the fish eggs later on. Lastly, there's something called the invisible thing and of course it was crushed instantly by Iwas like it was crushed by Othinus. Oh yeah, by the way, the king of misfortune also has precognition. Oh, Emiya, you're such a foolish character with such a stupid fucking dream. You also say the stupidest shit to ever come out of someone's fucking mouth. Bro, what did you say? Was it something like, people die if they are killed? No shit! Hold on, hold on guys. As stupid as that one was, I got another one for you guys. You ready for this one? He says, just because you're correct doesn't mean you're right. Bro, I will never get over this. You foodable, oh my fucking god, thank you so fucking much for making Heaven's Field 3 and giving Ryder the fucking spotlight. Saber Ultraverse Ryder was fucking peak. Better than anything ever seen. Fuck AOT and of course fuck Dragon Ball. Don't give a shit about that garbage. Like I said before, we're talking about Shiro Emiya. And I know I said the Heaven's Field version earlier or the Heaven's Field route, but we're just going to be talking about Shiro Emiya in general. Let's get some of the more known abilities out of the way of what we already know. As we all know, Shiro Emiya can use projection magic. One of the best examples of him using projection magic is when he was tracing archer swords. He also has the ability to use Roias, which is pretty fucking cool. I love the design of Roias. We also need to talk about Avalon. Like, I mean, how could we not? It's a part of fucking Artoria. Avalon just heals Shiro. Nothing more to say. Yeah, yeah, we all know Emiya can use Blade Works, which is a reality marvel. Cool. Now, hold on, guys. I know what some of you guys are thinking. You're thinking, Emiya takes this because, well, he can't break Tomo to his reality marble. Look, if the reality marble is a supernatural ability, by the way, I don't need to explain why that really wouldn't work on Toma. Wouldn't that just mean Tomo could just cancel his reality marble because it's a supernatural phenomenon? Like, it's nothing compared to fucking Gungnir. We, it's not a fucking universe. It's just a fucking reality marble, which isn't even that fucking big. It's not even compared to a fucking phase. So, by my calculations, you know, with the big brain person that I am, it's a of course, gonna be easy enough for Toma to destroy. I will talk more about the fish eggs, but I really doubt Shiro would even be able to do anything to cut off his right fucking arm. If for some reason Emiya did actually take Toma's right fucking arm off, Toma's fish eggs would actually fucking kill Emiya immediately. Power of the fish eggs is compared to destruction of the Magic God Temple. Simply put, that just puts the attack potency of the fish eggs at high hyperversal. I would explain more, but honestly, I'm too fucking lazy. But I can actually make a scan in the video of that later if you really fucking want me to. And I can actually provide information to support my claim. Toma is faster than Shiro and Toma has precognition. I mean, do fought against fucking openness and develop precognition even more after dying fucking millions, billions, and trillions of fucking times. Every trace on ability he used would get fucking destroyed by Imagine Breaker, a reality
Mighty Marvel cannot warp him to a different dimension as he could just easily destroy it as we know he destroyed fucking Gungnir which is higher scale above the reality marble. Guys I really think that this just comes down to a fucking fist fight and we all know with precognition Tomo's just gonna fucking beat the shit out of fucking Emya. Emya's a weak ass little fucking bitch that only thinks about Rin's fucking thighs. Like let's be fucking real now. Even for example let's say he had his fucking bow. You know the Ilya version where he has his fucking bow and his sword and shit and he's a fucking bass with his fucking bandana. I highly doubt that fucking Emya could even fucking kill Toma. I don't see that Emya winning. He's just fucking hard countered by precognition and the fucking Imagine Breaker. Don't worry guys, I'll make a video eventually where Void Shiki fucking slams Goku. But yeah, no, that sounds about right. Toma makes Emya. Nothing more to say. Here's a picture for you guys to try and guess next video. Guys, if you like the video right now, I'm not even joking. I will make sure there's a brand new motorcycle outside your fucking house. Guys, this is not a fucking scam. I'm being 88,888% serious. Guys, like the video for that fucking sports motorcycle. Peace. ま、そう、うまくはいかねえか。あの、今その入部届を渡してくれるなら、その私がみんなに口添えしてもいいんですけど、断る。俺燃えとか興味ないから。<笑>